Hey everyone, Jamie here again. Uh, welcome to your second HTML tutorial. Uh, in the last tutorial, we just went over the basics of HTML and uh, how to set up and save an HTML page. Uh, so in this tutorial, I figured we'll set up another HTML page and learn how to actually add some text to it. So if you remember from last time, uh, we can save our HTML document by going to the Save As and then just calling it whatever we want. Um, in this case, uh, we'll call this tutorial2.html and uh, the file type will be in HTML file. Uh, in If you're using Microsoft's uh, Notepad software, you might have to uh, go to file type would be all, all files or show file type would be all files and you'll have to manually type in the HTML extension. But if you're using Notepad++, it should be pretty easy to do. Um, you can either save it the way I just did or you can go to language, uh, select the H here, choose HTML, and then uh, you can just type in the file name. So um, so when we're going to set up our HTML page here. If you remember, we'll have, we have some tags here, our opening and closing HTML tags to let the browser know that anything that's done in here is uh, HTML. And uh, we'll also include our head tags. Uh, we can include another title. So we'll call this title uh, tutorial or you can call it whatever you want. Um, I don't know, it's up to you. And uh, we'll also include our body tags. So anything between these two tags here uh, is where we're going to actually have our code to be displayed on the page. So in the last tutorial I showed you that if you enter text like body and then you save it and then uh, Here's our last tutorial, actually. That's what it would look like, but we'll open up tutorial two. Uh, you'll have the word body displayed. And this body right here corresponds to uh, this line of code right here on line six. So we can type in whatever we want here within the body tags and uh, save it up over here, come over here and refresh. Uh, and you'll see that everything gets added that we type. However, uh, you might notice that even though we have everything on a new line here, uh, it actually gets displayed right next to the body tag, regardless, or uh, regardless rather of what it, what line it's on, and that's because the the computer basically reads the code uh, not uh, line by line. It really rather reads it kind of uh, just what's next. And if you don't tell it uh, what to do next, like if you don't say put a space, like using a br tag, uh, it it won't do that. It'll just go to the next thing and say just throw that next to there. So uh, using the BR we are able to put a space. But anyway, more about that later. So if you're looking to add text to a web page, uh, just simple text, what we can do is we can uh, either do it the way we just did with no uh, formatting, or what we can do is we can use a paragraph tag. And um, a paragraph tag basically just says, you know, include a little bit of a space, make it like a paragraph type style so that you have space between your lines of words or text or whatever else you're putting in there, links, pictures. Um, so in order to do that you just use the uh, brackets and you put a P in there and you need the closing paragraph tag and anything between these two tags um, will be where where the paragraph break will be. So what we're going to do is we're going to type this is a paragraph and we'll save it and come over here to our web browser here and refresh and you'll see that we have this is a paragraph just like we typed. Now if I type outside of the paragraph tag, say this is a second paragraph, and save, you'll notice that it has a space between it. Uh, even though we didn't actually put any formatting on this particular line of text here, uh, it automatically gets spaced because this right here, this paragraph, uh, this this text is enclosed, enclosed within paragraph tag, so it'll put a space uh, below it. And if we put anything in front of it, actually, like include this in front and we save it out here you'll notice that uh, there's also a space above so we'll just get rid of that there and we can we'll bring this down just so we have a better idea of what we're working with here and uh, as well we'll also enclose this in paragraph tags so here are two paragraphs you notice it looks a lot better it looks a lot neater with the spacing um, and that's just that's just one way of displaying text. If you if you want, you can simply just type it out here without the tags. 
but if you put another line of text underneath, uh, you'll notice that it's just going to go right next to it. So it's always good to include the paragraph tags. Um, another way that you can put spacing, though, if you don't want to use the paragraph tags, or uh, it would be unpractical to do so in some situation, you can do it with a line break, which I just showed you. And a line break uh, is simply, let's say we have some text here, and now uh, we have more text down here. So again, you'll notice that it's just spaced next to each other. So we can break the lines apart by using a line break tag, which is just a bracket br, and uh, you can end it like that, but I don't know, the more conventional way would just be to put a slash there. It's more correct, I guess you could say. And that'll actually put some space between the lines. Uh, not as much as the paragraph, it'll just break it down to the next line. Um, but it, it gives you uh, some space and makes it look a little bit neater. And now you can use this again for anything, tables, pictures, links, whatever. And, and that's just uh, one way to do it. You don't need a closing tag for the break tag. And uh, the more break tags you have, oops, the more space is going to be included. So if you're, I don't know, trying to find, I don't know, maybe you want to put a picture in there or something, you'll be able to have more space depending on what you want. Um, you could also do this doing, using CSS, but uh, we might learn some more about that later. Anyway, so let's create some more text here. We'll create a paragraph tag and we'll call it, this is a line of, of text enclosed in a paragraph tag and slash p, so we'll end it. And um, so there's, but besides spacing with text, you can actually format text with, uh, you can put colors, uh, you can make it bold, and everything like that. And um, we can, well, I'll show you some more about that stuff in this in the third tutorial, um, how to add color and, and make the text just change around the looks. But uh, this second tutorial, he tutorial here is basically just how to get the uh, text on the page and uh, play around with that somehow. So just a uh, good thing to play around with if you want to. You can, uh, if you also, if you notice, if I put a bunch of spaces here and uh, just add more text, you'll notice that if I refresh this page over here, it does not get spaced down. And again, that's, uh, like I said earlier, that's because the computer just reads, uh, it doesn't read actual the line breaks here, the spaces. It will just reads, oh, this is next on line 12. So we'll just put it up there. So uh, that's just something to keep in mind when you're writing some code. So uh, if you can play around with that, uh, try adding more and more text, see if maybe you can get some uh, paragraphs going, and just uh, keep adding. And you'll see that with the paragraph tags, it keeps everything nice and neat, and uh, more easy to, or easier to read. So, oh, there we go, see? We have the spaces there. So, uh, basically just play around with this, and in the next tutorial we'll learn how to add uh, bold, italic, underline, and uh, we'll also learn about a new tag called the font color tag, and it'll it'll change the, um, the we can change the font of the tag, uh, the, the font of the text rather, and uh, all types of stuff like that to make it look better. So, uh, thank you for watching, and if, again, if you have any questions, comments, suggestions, um, I'm still relatively new at making tutorials, please feel free to post the, whatever it is in the comments, uh, send me a message, at reply me on Twitter, twitter.com slash jamiemcg, or just send me an email at technicalcafe.com and you can just click on the contact link and uh, you can email me that way and uh, I'll try to respond to whatever I get um, but anyway I appreciate you watching these tutorials if you like them please feel free to subscribe and uh, again any questions please send them over um, thank you for watching and have a nice night